Hey folks, welcome to the Creo Sphere. Today we're going to be diving into the software for the Creo Hive RGB. On opening the software, this is the screen we're presented with. First up, on the left here we have the profile section. Here, multiple profiles can be created, edited, and then saved along with their customized presets to be loaded onto the keyboard. We can also export profiles, delete profiles, or even import profiles if you have previously stored ones. This section of the software shows lighting customization. Here we can change lighting patterns, uh, which can be selected from any of them from this list. Or we can also have preset colors if we want to do individual key mapping. We also have a brightness section here and a speed option to choose how quickly or slowly the patterns pulse. Changes made here don't require any saving and are immediately loaded onto the keyboard. Next we have the button mapping page. Here we can select any key on the keyboard and then choose what function we want to assign to it apart from its default function. We can assign say for example a multimedia key, choose our option here and then we need to click the save icon here for the change to be taking place on the keyboard and stored on the keyboard. Next we have the macro management function. Here we can create and record a new macro and once we have created a macro we then start recording what function we wanted to execute and then we stop recording now we have a macro which is stored. This macro can then be bound to a key in the button mapping page. Finally, we have the other settings part of the software which allows us to turn on functions like Windows Lock or swap WASD for the arrow keys or turn on and off N key rollover. Here we have the keyboard settings for Windows itself. And finally, we have the polling rate of the keyboard which ideally should be left at 1000 Hz. Now that you're all caught up, you're ready to go beyond limits.